Hi, it's Mardex. Welcome to my channel where I showcase indie games and here is another interesting project. As the game page indicates, you take on the role of a lone scavenger searching for gear and supplies. You infiltrate the depths of Kata Bay 6, a mega huge mining facility owned by the corrupted and ruthless corporation Orpheus Tech. The facility exploits resources on Charbit, char 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 whatever, an exoplanet where you must use all your stealth techniques to collect gear for yourself. For those who stick around till the end of the video, I have some fun fact about the game. So, Rav Metal caught my attention because it's a dungeon crawler with unexpected gameplay. Your main goal is to sneak behind shadows, avoiding being spotted by guards. Various equipment devices helps preventing that detection, allowing you to easily snatch items from stored containers. To gain access to rooms, you need to locate card keys, and for lower levels, there is an access card key too. But the real fun comes when guard spots you or you try to sneak attack them. Then the game changes into a fighting mode where you have to beat enemies like in Tekken. Rough Metal requires some skills to finish off guards quickly, but it's satisfying and engaging, at least for me. You may choose to keep your collected stuff and return to the surface and with the next session the game allows you to use collected points to start from a lower level and use collected gear to destine being better prepared. The game is much more playable on controller than on keyboard and mouse. It's not easier, but it's just more enjoyable. The top-down view with so limited camera movement lets you spot a name's location before they notice you, and even if you are spotted, quickly hide yourself in shadows or use trunk laser darts to turn off light sources. As mentioned earlier, you can use stealth devices that help you avoid sticky situations if you are not too comfortable with fighting, as enemies are often stronger than you, with few mistakes you will end up losing, so, with devices like teleporters, noisemakers, tranquilizer darts and more, you can dodge combat. While scavenging you will obtain equipment in the form of body armor parts. Each of them adds some benefits to your stealth game or helps you in battle. Damaged ones also have debuffs, so keep in mind that they can increase the volume of your steps or lower your damage output. In the game, you can find rooms like Lounge or Forge that can help you fix, upgrade or exchange your equipment. There is also a room that contains your past session items if you fall before. If there are enemies nearby and you want to avoid them or make a sneaky attack, you have to use stealth mode to lower your noise output and without it, your steps will alert enemies. Also, every piece of equipment you collect increases your carrying weight, so from what I understand, it increases how loud your movements are and it can slow you down a bit. Rav Metal surprised me with the game memory about your returning. Sometimes guards mention that they hope not to meet you again in another try. Even the demo boss asks you how many times you are gonna come back. How many times are we gonna have to do this, kid? And more similar lines like that, which wasn't expected, but it adds a few points to the final opinion about the title. My most favorite part of the game is fighting. In tight spaces, you have to maneuver carefully avoiding incoming attacks. You have two sets of movements, fists, legs, and with holding buttons a little longer you perform heavy ones. With a few battles you will learn how to perform chain combos or even send enemies flying. Besides that, you can pin enemies to walls and obstacles, getting even more time to unleash your very power technique and obliterate guards. In the demo, there are not too many different enemies, but some of them can use tranquilizers like you, and also you can use all devices in battle mode as well. Though I'm not fully content with the fighting mode, hits don't sound that juicy, and I would love to see more possible combos. I know it's not a fighting game but some people would love more stealth type and some of them like me would focus on finishing all enemies on the map first. Also when an enemy's health drops to zero, it's time to finish them. You have to use a heavy attack landing a cool slow-mo finisher and I would ask for more possible finishing moves, maybe as unlockables or some upgrades. The same goes for new fighting techniques or even fighting styles. Even old games thanks to the cell shading still looks good in comparison to other games. In Rough Metal, cell shading provides a pleasant look and fine play of shadows. You instantly knew where are the shadows for you to hide. 
because of the game is made with a retro style, it would still be a good looking even in the next 5 years. There is not too much music, so I don't focus on that part of the game. The ambience works well and it's a good match. If you are concerned about playing the game on the Steam Deck, I didn't see any problems with it. Thanks to the cell shading art style, Rough Metal isn't a power hungry title, resulting in quite a long battery life while playing the game. And with already implemented support for controller, it's working great without the need for remapping buttons. And here is the fun fact I told about Ilir. The game has its beginning in an animation created by one of the developers a few years ago. And I put a link to that short video in the description. So if you want to check it out, you are welcome, it's quite funny. Rough Metal is an unexpected but fun mix of stealth and fighting mechanics in a dungeon crawler form. Of course, while playing the available demo, I happened to find some errors. For example, while you are in shadows, even if an enemy steps on you, they won't attack you. They will just change their walking pattern. Enemies don't react and don't alert their men. When you use grenades on them, they act like nothing happened. Aside from these easily fixable problems, the game is very promising to be one of the coolest ones in March 2024. With its release date set for the March 19th, I have added the game to my wishlist and if you want to, there is a link in the description. Subscribe for more videos about the fun in the games and thank you very much for spending your time on my video. Have a nice day and happy gaming!